Thanks BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Fried Chicken I have done some life-changing experiments with it. Some are more insane than others, but today we'll be going way beyond that to see if we can improve the most popular way of having fried chicken. So let's begin. First up, the bird. And we gotta butcher it. The first thing I like to do is to remove the wing tips. Find the joint and cut it up. Next, I like to work on the thighs and drums. The most important thing is the oyster meat. Go around it and don't mess it up. It is the best part of the chicken thigh. Once the legs were removed, I jumped right into the breast. I like to start right in the middle, cut it straight down, and it comes right off. And in the end, once I was done, I was left with these pieces. But as you can see, they are way too big. So to make it smaller, the first thing I like to do is to remove the wings from the breast. Now I cut the breast in half, then I separate the drums from the thighs. Once that's done, my chicken is now ready. It's time for the important important thing, the batter. So into a bowl I throw in all-purpose flour followed by black pepper, baking soda, garlic powder, salt, paprika and one egg. This is the batter that I'm going to be making for every single one of the chickens today. However, the next ingredient is quite different. For our control, I started adding just water. Then I mixed everything well until I was happy with the consistency. And this is what I was looking for. On the next ingredient is quite popular whenever you fry chicken. And that would be beer. Any kind of beer you like though. Since it has a bitter taste, it pairs up perfectly with the chicken. Using the same exact mix we just made, I just went ahead and added to the batter. Mixed everything well until I got the consistency I was happy with. Now this is a very common batter and simple. But the next one is going to be quite different. And that would be because I'm using this. Coca-Cola. Because of the carbonation of Coke, I think it's going to create a great batter. You can clearly see the carbonation working its magic. This is what I was hoping for. So I went ahead, mixed it all up, got a nice consistency, and take a look. As now, we have all of our batters ready. The question is, which one is going to be better? But in order to really let the flavor soak in, the next thing to do is to go ahead and add all of the chicken to the batter. But not only that, we gotta leave it resting overnight. That way that flavor is really gonna sink in. As that was happening, it was perfect because it allowed me time to make this. An incredible side dish that will please everyone. And I'll tell you friends, it is ridiculously easy to make and here's how. The first thing to do is to heat up some butter in a skillet. Once it's nice and hot, I wanna have and threw in some diced onions followed by red bell peppers and a chunk of garlic. Mix everything well until everything started getting a little bit of color. Once I was happy with it, I threw in some ground beef. But there's one other ingredient that is quite important and that would be the seasoning. And for that, I like to use my barbecue rub. So after adding a good generous amount, I went ahead and mixed everything up so it was fully combined and let it cook. As once it's almost fully cooked, it's time to add in some cheese sauce. And this one, it's super simple to make. Into a different pan, I added some butter followed by all-purpose flour. Go ahead and cook up the flour for a little bit. As soon as it starts melting like pie dough, I added cold milk. You gotta watch it though because it starts thickening up on you real quick. And once it did, I threw in some cheddar cheese. Mixed everything well until the cheese was fully melted. And there we have it, cheese sauce. So into the mixed filling, I added a good amount. Followed by some mozzarella cheese. As the next thing is to add a good amount of tater tots. These are the ones that you can find it on your frozen aisle. Sometimes you just wanna make something delicious and not make it from scratch. Because now, to finish it up, all there's left to do is to go ahead, cover it up with some aluminum foil, bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, take it off, remove the aluminum foil, add some more mozzarella cheese right on top, stick it in the oven in the broiler settings for about 5 minutes, and finish it off with a tiny bit of parsley. Now that is today's side dish. And I'll tell you one thing, this is going to be fantastic. And the best part is that I think it's going to pair up perfectly with our chicken. Talking about that, by this this time the chickens were ready, so I went ahead and threw it in all-purpose flour, keep in mind that I'm doing it individually. Remember, we got three different kinds going on over here. Coating them with flour right now is an important step, and the easiest way to do it is to shake everything up just like this, because in the end, take a look. We got nice crevices that once it's fried up, it's going to be delicious. And to finish that up, outside we went with a nice hot oil. To be specific, I'm going to be using Wagyu Talo. This just makes the deep fried chicken taste better. And if you've never tried it, I highly recommend. As we want to deep fry the chicken twice. First at a lower temperature, which is 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Because then you want to let it rest for a little bit and deep fry them once again at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for an incredible crust. In the end, you should be left with incredible deep fried chicken. And as you can clearly see, we got a nice beautiful crust.
crispy crust. But don't forget today's experiment. Which one is going to be better? The one that was done with water? The one with beer? Or the Coca-Cola deep fried chicken? I have no idea what's about to happen. Because now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. So let's do it. But before moving forward, I want to thank our sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. It's the new year and a great time to work on yourself. This year, I want to work on managing my stress. Yeah, you see me all chill flipping those steaks, but that is my zen right there. And it's a total of two to five minutes. The rest of the day, I got to juggle three channels, long videos, short videos, and a ton of recipes and experiments. Yep, I need to manage stress. Speaking with a therapist helps with stress management. When I'm in work mode, it's just go, go, go. And I forget to take time for myself. Working with a therapist has reminded me how important it is to take that me time. Having a therapist also helps me figure out and understand what are the factors and behaviors that are causing the stress and how to switch ineffective thoughts and behaviors to more positive and productive ones. I can do this from the comfort of my home or studio because BetterHelp lets me have therapy sessions at a time that is convenient to me. That can be either by a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging. It's easy and much less intimidating. I'm a big advocate for mental health and I want you to understand what therapy can do for you and how easy BetterHelp makes it to start. If you think this sounds like something you can benefit from, go to betterhelp.com google or click my link on the description to get 10% off your first month. Thanks BetterHelp for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, and here we got deep fried chicken today, Jalima. You guys hungry? I'm hungry. It's not steak, but I'll take a chicken. Yeah, I was gonna say no steak, huh? Yeah, we got a little experiment going on right here. Different coloration, or you already you can tell. Yep. By color and looks, which one look better? I, like I this say one. this one over here. I know, right? It looks perfect. Wow. But it's not about the look. It's always about the taste. And we're gonna start this direction. Please grab your chicken. Let's see. Oh, you are a dark man. I'm going drumstick today, bro. I'm a dark man too. Yeah, Let's see you. Good. Damn, Google. I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna take the last one. God damn! Chicken breast. All right, all right, whatever. Who likes the chicken breast, everybody? Let me know in the comments down below. It's not even about white or dark meat for me. I'm just a lazy man. I like to eat a drumstick. It's easy. I love how we're all holding our chicken with our hands. You can take this away. We don't even need this. <laughs> yeah, well, we might because look. Oh my God, I that can't now really wait good. to try that. Okay, enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That's some crispy chicken. Oh. Oh! I did not get the breast! This is actually the thighs. Look, this is really good. You know what's really hard about fried chicken? Having it be juicy inside. Yeah. This is a very juicy chicken breast. As soon as you bite it, you get a nice amount of juice that's really flavorful. The crispiness too on the outside is perfect. It's not too soggy or greasy or anything nasty like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call it crispiness. That's crunchiness. I thought you were a chicken hater. Not today. <laughs> we talk a lot of smack about other types of chicken, but All fried right. chicken? Let's jump in for the next one. Grab yours. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Ooh. A lot more flavor on this one. Not only that, it's delicious. Damn, that's good. I'm having trouble figuring out where that extra flavor is coming from. Is it the chicken or is it the crust? That is so much better, everybody. This is, I would even say, more juicy than the previous chicken. It's got the same crunch and it's a little bit juicier. Where it's standing out the most for me is the actual crust. What I like the most about this chicken is that it has a very unique flavor there. It's not your typical fried chicken. It has a slightly fermented taste, which might be sound a little weird, but it tastes fantastic on this chicken. Fermented? Oh, okay, okay. You? I'm busy eating. <laughs> I absolutely love this one, but I cannot wait to find out the next one because mm -mm. this one yeah, We're yeah. going for the tater tots. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ah, oh, okay, bad idea. Bro, that came out of the oven right now. Are you all right? Damn, bro. Sorry about that. Come on over here. Now, I'll tell you one thing about this side dish today. It is fat-free, calorie-free, and everything. It's absolutely the same thing as if you were drinking water. Stop the cow. <laughs> This looks calorie free. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> now, I've made something similar to this before, but this one is a little bit different. Everybody. I'm excited. You a liar, bro. This is not fat free calorie free. It is, bro. Either. If you think it is, it just becomes. You gotta believe, Leo. That sounds like this got too much calories in it. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. And it's nice and hot, too. Is there meat in here? I never had tater tots with meat. That is fantastic. It tastes like a pie, almost like a shepherd's pie, almost. Cheesy, crispy, crumbly because of the ground beef. Wow, this is so dynamic, so delicious, and I could eat this whole thing even though my arteries are not gonna like that. This is so good, but it really does call back to like a, a shepherd's pie, almost. It's just amazing, it tastes so good. That is delicious. Highly recommend you giving it a try. With that being said, are you guys ready for the last one? Yeah. Enough good. talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Whoa. Oh, this oh. one's like a little bit sweet. Yeah. A little bit sweet. Oh, this is good. It has a different crust on it. Are you a fan, Leo? I don't like this. 
Are you a fan? I don't think I'm a fan. No, bro, that's, what the hell is this, bro? I don't like that at all. Damn, I, we came from the savory of this delicious dish over here. That is not what I expected, everybody. It's a little, well, maybe it is what I expected because even though I put a little bit of extra salt on this one right here, I'll tell you one thing. It is sweet because I used Coca-Cola. Oh my God. What's your favorite drink? Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a very good idea, at least for me, but for you, <laughs> Thumbs up. How about you? Thumbs down. I agree. I'm not a big fan. However, out of these two here, which one do you guys like the best? This one here. This one. I agree. This one is beer batter, by the way. Uh. So we got beer batter and we just got naked right here. Beer batter is much better, everybody. I highly recommend you giving it a try. And if you like something sweet, give this one a go because we didn't like it, but he did. It's good. Trust me. You like Coca-Cola too much. That might be true. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.